Freedom Tire is proud to be the title sponsor of supporting Jaguar student athletes through Centennial Digital. With six locations around the metro, you're never far from getting you back or keeping your family safely on the road. Our certified staff and state-of-the-art technology means you can take comfort knowing you've got the best work at the best prices. Come see us at Freedom Tire, a proud supporter of Centennial Digital. Hi everybody, Danielle Seifert here, letting you know that I have the keys to your brand new home. I have been handing over keys to Dream Homes in the Des Moines Metro for 20 years. And with my team in Ankeny, we deliver an experience that's simple and stress-free. Sound advice, savvy negotiating, exceptional customer service, and the keys to living your best life are just the start of what you get when you are working with me and my team. Check out available properties at DanielleSeifert.com. Let's talk soon. Sportsmanship starts with you. Good sportsmanship means showing respect to student athletes, coaches, officials, and those around you. Good sportsmanship is about character, accountability, and setting a positive example in and out of competition. Before the game starts, remember, sportsmanship starts with you. Test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Our goal is to make a difference. We have the tools, resources, training, and leadership to make a difference in our agents' lives and their careers. And then they can then take that to make a difference in their clients' lives and ultimately make a difference in our community. We are available basically 24-7 to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients. So when an athlete walks into Nick Karash Fitness, the one thing we want them to know is that this is a phenomenal community. We have the best coaching. We have the best technology. We have the, the programming that can help them succeed. So whether it's trying to get on JV for the first time, going to that next level on varsity, going from a, a second string to you know an all-state player. We have the tools, we have the, the programming and the coaching in order to take each individual to their next level. Hi everybody, Danielle Seifert here, letting you know that I have the keys to your brand new home. I have been handing over keys to Dream Homes in the Des Moines Metro for 20 years. And with my team in Ankeny, we deliver an experience that's simple and stress-free. Sound advice, savvy negotiating, exceptional customer service, and the keys to living your best life are just the start of what you get when you are working with me and my team. Check out available properties at DanielleSeifert.com. Let's talk soon. Freedom Tire is proud to be the title sponsor of supporting Jaguar student athletes through Centennial Digital. With six locations around the metro, you're never far from getting you back or keeping your family safely on the road. Our certified staff and state-of-the-art technology means you can take comfort 
knowing you've got the best work at the best prices. Come see us at Freedom Tire, a proud supporter of Centennial Digital. Good evening, everybody. It is postseason basketball time. Andy Pollack with you here on a joint production tonight of Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire and the Ankeny Activities Network, built by the Danielle Seifert real estate team. It does not get much bigger than what we've got tonight in the gym at Southeast Polk. The student sections are packed. We have got fans up into the rafters right now. What a great crowd that came down from Ankeny from the north side of Centennial, the south side, the Ankeny Hawks. It's a rubber match tonight and the stakes are high as the winner goes on to next week's Iowa High School Athletic Association Boys State Basketball Tournament and the loser turns in their equipment tomorrow. So we have got a fun atmosphere already tonight starting from when the doors open at six o'clock. The chants have been going back and forth. It's been great. It's now time for our Signorama starting lineups. Signorama is your full service sign and graphics company. They design, produce, and install all types of interior and exterior signs and graphics, including vehicle wraps and more. It's time now to go down to our public address announcer for the Signorama starting lineups. test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Here we go. Oh, wow. 
U.S. Cellular works great out here. Yeah, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. When an athlete walks into Nick Garage Fitness, the one thing we want them to know is that this is a phenomenal community. We have the best coaching. We have the best technology. We have the, the programming that can help them succeed. So whether it's trying to get on JV for the first time, going to that next level on varsity, going from a, a second string to you know an all-state player, we have the tools, we have the, the programming and the coaching in order to take each individual to their next level. And the entire crowd singing along to the national anthem. That was pretty cool to experience here as we are ready to get started will be 17 and 16 Ankeny Hawks in the, excuse me, 17 and 10 Ankeny Hawks in the 16 and 10 Centennial Jaguars as they are ready to go here tonight. This will be a fun one. These teams have played already this year twice and they split on the season. So these are the one and the two seed out of the region with a winner going on to next week's state tournament. Our first quarter tonight is brought to you by Roof Iowa. Out there on the floor for the Hawks, which will be the team in white tonight, the home team on the scoreboard. Kate Peterson, Carson Johnson, Leo and Rio Aguirre, and Cash Schoolin for the home team, the Ankeny Hawks. For the visitors tonight on the scoreboard, Chase Shuddy in black, along with Connor Welsh, Nick Baskey, and Luke Winkle. Tip is controlled by Centennial to get things started here tonight. Winkle with a basketball, Ankeny in man-to-man -man defense to get things rolling. Joey Oki back to Winkle. Ankeny pressuring things the last two times these teams played. Winkle and Carson Johnson went back and forth. Welsh with a basketball as he drives in, gives off to Oki underneath the basket, and Oki lays it in to get the first two points of the night for Centennial. Now Carson Johnson, who has been nothing short of spectacular in the second half of the season. He was pretty darn good in the first half of the season, but he's been really good in the second half of the season. Schoolin is back way off. They give it up top to Leo Aguirre. Aguirre, little spin move, kicks it out. Schoolin gonna let loose a three-pointer and hit it for the Hawks. That'll be key tonight for Ankeny is letting somebody else hit some of those outside shots. Loosen up some of the defense down low. Shuddy off to Winkle. Welsh in the middle. Vasky goes up, stripped away. Schoolin's got it. Schoolin gets it ahead to Rio Aguirre. Thought about the three into the lane. Schoolin up to the left hand and good. Quick 5-2 lead. Two lead here for Ankeny to get things rolling. Winkle now with the basketball. These teams can score in bunches. Oki into the lane, up on Peterson, can't get it to fall. Peterson goes up, he's knocked to the ground, nothing called. And Leo Aguirre clears the rebound. Just about two minutes into the ball game here tonight. Schoolin drives in, throws it up off the glass, no good. Winkle with a rebound heading the other way. Winkle for three, no good. And Kate Peterson is fouled from behind as Joey Oki picks up his first foul. Boy, we have got a fun crowd on hand here tonight. I think the whole town of Ankeny came down for this one. Didn't know what to expect, but this is a great crowd. Fans all the way around the top. Student sections are packed to the gills. What an atmosphere we've got in the gym here at Southeast Pole. Johnson picks up his dribble and the ball's nearly taken away. Now Ankeny with numbers, schooling from the corner, good. Jaguars went for the steal and it gave numbers to Ankeny. Schoolin makes them pay.
Oki. Ankeny student section is loud right now. Now here's Welsh for three, good. <laughs> Couple of the best three-point shooting teams in the state are showing why here early on. Carson Johnson hasn't even taken a shot yet. Johnson drives in, kicks it out, Aguirre for three, that's Leo and he hits it. Incredible three-point shooting, three of them for the Hawks to start this first quarter. 4.50 to go, Winkle gives it off to Oki for three. He can't hit it. Rio Aguirre high for the rebound. Gonna let Leo Aguirre run the offense. The Aguirre brothers play some catch. Rio drives in and he is fouled up top. See who they get this one on. It's gonna be whistled on Connor Welsh, his first. Carson Johnson. Now Aguirre throws it over the top to Peterson. Peterson backs his way in, might have traveled with it, kicks it out to Rio Aguirre, you can't hit. Great box out by Centennial. And Oki comes up with a rebound, quickly ahead of the Jag. Shuddy's picked up in the half court right away. Kicks it out, Oki. Now Welsh, Welsh on that baseline move, kicks it out. There's a good look for Vasky, he doesn't take it. Welsh, one more time, leaves that one short. Under four to play in this first quarter. Hawks with a fast start. Eight points for Cash Schoolin. Carson Johnson defended by Vasky. Johnson throws it away. Winkle with a steal. Jags with Winkle pulling up for three. It's strong. And the extra bounce and Schoolin there to haul it in. Now Aguirre kicks it out. Schoolin, who's got the hot hand so far, nearly has it stripped away. And the ball goes out of bounds and will stick with Ankeny. Fast start for the Hawks. They have scored in big spurts throughout the course of the year. As Rio Aguirre wide open to school and loses it momentarily. What a nice save by Leo Aguirre. Kicks it out to Rio and Rio's fouled. That's gonna be on Winkle, his first already. Is that four already on Centennial in this first quarter? Just three. All right, they had, they already updated the scoreboard right away. Rio Aguirre tosses up a three, no good. Vasky clears the rebound. A lot of great seniors on these two teams. Winkle looks over to get the call from Coach Bob Fontana. Brant Carlson coaching the Hawks. Coaches who've been around for a lot of games and had a lot of success. A fun couple guys to have and that we can follow along all season long in Ankeny. Winkle loses it momentarily. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Winkle gonna let loose a three. It's strong again, but the long rebound comes to Oki and then Shuddy for three. He can't hit it. And the Hawks have the ball once again, trying to extend their six point lead. Johnson in the lane, drains it. That's what Carson Johnson is so good at. Fast start here for the Ankeny Hawks as the Jaguars need a quick timeout defensively wise. The Hawks have been stymieing the Jaguars, haven't had very many good looks at all. As we get a look over there at the Hawk bench right now during the timeout. Right now, they are uh, on fire. And it's starting on the defensive end. They've got Centennial completely baffled right now. Look at a couple of our student sections down there. What a crowd we have got on hand here tonight. As the teams come back out on the floor, same starters for the Hawks and the same starters for the Jaguars. 2.22 to go here in the first period.
Winkle again, look for a set play from Centennial. Out of the timeout. Down in the corner, Vasky. Looked like they were trying to free up Winkle. There they get down low to Shuddy. Shuddy backing in on Aguirre, puts some muscle into him, and Shuddy with a little baby hook to knock it in. Johnson, who's only shot once and he's made it. Schoolin, who's got eight. Johnson, who's gone for 30 plus several times this year. The step back three, can't hit that one. And a fight for the boards. And we're gonna have a jump ball. It will stick with the Hawks. Still have not had a foul called on Ankeny. They've done a great job of keeping their hands off. As that time, Welsh comes out at Aguirre. Aguirre drives into the lane and tries to toss it off to Schoolin, but he's fouled by Welsh. And that's gonna be the second foul on Welsh already here in this first quarter. And they may need his scoring later on. Will Smith checks in for the Jaguars, our first heart of Ankeny Animal Hospital substitution on the inbounds play. Peterson can't Smith. Had a big game in that win over Roosevelt to get to this point. Vasky drives in and he is fouled. They say no shot, it was on the floor. They're gonna get schooling for the foul. His first, team's first, and everything will reset when the second, well not everything, not the, the personal fouls, but the team fouls will restart in the second quarter. Winkle. Had a tough time getting in on Johnson, and then Johnson gets whistled for the foul. He was in good shape with his body, but swiped at him with his hands. And Carson Johnson gets whistled for his first. So those two went back and forth to the tune of 38 for Johnson, 32 for Winkle, when these teams played at the end of the year. And they've been quiet here tonight. There's Winkle with a little cut down low, puts it up, and can't get it to fall. But Will Smith keeps the rebound alive, and Winkle gets it. Oki goes one-on-one, -on -one, in up off the glass and good for Joey Oki. Back down to a four-point lead for the Hawks. Got a 13-second differential in the shot clock and game clock, and Johnson travels with a basketball. Oki slid in there and cut him off, and Johnson took a couple extra shuffle steps. Here's we've got a wet spot down on the floor. Boy, what an atmosphere we've got in this gym tonight. This is almost like it was back in the old Northview days. The rafters packed all the way to the top. Tons of fans on hand. Student sections chanting back and forth. Really a fun atmosphere here at Southeast Polk between the Hawks and the Jags. Neither team has gone very far into their bench at all in this first quarter. In fact, the Jags did it out of necessity as Welsh picked up his second foul. The shot clock and game clock have about a four second difference. And actually the game clock on that Centennial side is not working very well right above the rim. As Winkle drives in, finds himself open in the lane and drops it through. So the Hawks led by eight, it's back down to a two point lead. Rio Aguirre, a long three, no good. Shuddy lets loose a long one, good if it goes, and it's not. Great first half of play here tonight. The Hawks lead the Jags 13 to 11 in this joint production of the Ankeny Activities Network and Centennial Digital here tonight on the Central Iowa Sports Network. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Welcome back to Altoona. Andy Pollock with you here tonight where at the end of the first quarter, Ankeny leads Centennial 13 to 11. 
in what has been a uh, game that the Hawks have led the entirety of. Got a bucket early on. They led by as many as eight. And then the Jaguars have taken over since then. Got it back to a two-point lead. Cash school and leads all scores right now for the Hawks. He's got eight. And as we step back out onto the floor right now, the Hawks go out there again with their starters. They have not subbed anybody in yet tonight. Like I mentioned before, the Jags appear to have done so out of necessity. Will Smith in the game for Connor Welsh. And it's also the starters in there otherwise for Centennial. The Jags will have the basketball to start the second half, second quarter, excuse me. Vasky off to Shuddy. Hands off, Winkle. Winkle in on Johnson, a little extension of the arm, couldn't get it to fall in a battle for the rebound, and they say Shuddy cleared out Carson Johnson. Shuddy's gonna get whistled for the foul. That is just gonna be the first on Shuddy. We are high above the action here at Southeast Polk High School. See a good shot at Carson Johnson looking to set things up so far here for the Hawks. One of the most dangerous basketball players in the state. Schooling drives in, he has it stripped away. I think actually Winkle got a hand on it. Winkle wants to run. Winkle goes in on Aguirre, takes it up and off the glass. And they say it was before the shot. No NBA continuation here tonight, says Joey Gatto. Says on the floor, Aguirre gets whistled for his first foul. So Winkle will trigger underneath his own basket into Smith. And now Vasky. Smith was a key scorer in that game against Roosevelt when the Jags had to come back. Vasky. Try to go pick and pop to Winkle. Winkle lets loose a three-pointer and he can't hit it. Both teams have gone cold from the three-point line. Johnson will shoot from anywhere, including there. He drives in, tries to give it off, and Will Smith is in there to take it away. Smith drives in on Aguirre up with a shot. He can't get it, to, he gets it to fall, but once again, the continuation does not go. A couple of those here tonight. Jag faithful not happy about it, but Iowa High School basketball, that's the right call. Luke Anderson checks in for school and another Hearts of Ankeny Animal Hospital substitution. Looks like the Jags have one as well. So Oki will have a seat. Smith drives in, has it tipped away, and Peterson comes away with a steal. Peterson has been a big key in the second half of the season for Ankeny. He was on the shelf with a shoulder injury in the first half of the season as Smith gets another steal but then throws it away. Cabron Klinger in the game right now as well for Centennial. Jags, they have Vasky face guarding Johnson. He's done a great job so far to shut Johnson down. Is no small feat. Aguirre, look for him to take over scoring. So he goes in on Klinger, shoots up the three and hits it. And Aguirre's got six. Hawk student section has come alive. Winkle has been kept away from the basket for the most part. Shuddy drives in, a little fade away for Shuddy. He can't get it to fall, QB1, Luke Anderson up to get the rebound. And Aguirre backs in, muscles his way in and gets the layup to fall. And just like that, it's back to a seven point lead for the Hawks. They've been doing this all with Carson Johnson, just having two points, a quick toss down low. Shuddy gets trapped in the lane, has to dribble out. Plenty of time on the shot clock for Vasky. Spin move into the lane. He's shoved a little bit, rebound out of there to Aguirre. Refs have let him play here tonight. Leo Aguirre setting things up, future Multi-sport athlete at Clark. Let's loose another three-pointer for Aguirre. <laughs> 
30-second timeout for Coach Bob Fontana as Ankeny has been on fire tonight. They lead by 10. We want to be sure and thank our second quarter sponsor tonight, Anne-Marie Gerke with Farm Bureau Financial Services. Been a huge supporter of everything we've done on both our channels here in Ankeny. Thank you to Anne-Marie Gerke at Farm Bureau Financial Services. Thank all our postseason sponsors for making this possible here tonight. It's no small feat to get this going. Got to raise a lot of money to make that happen, and all our sponsors have done such a great job. The Ankeny business community has been great about coming together. I want to say hi to all those of you watching at Sports Page tonight as well. So coming out of the timeout with 4.43 to go in the second quarter. Ankeny after a couple more three-pointers from Leo Aguirre, who's up to nine points on the night. Little pick and pop for Oki. Can't hit the three. Jaguars again stay chilly from three-point land. They have the ability to heat up a lot, but they certainly have not done it so far. Carson Johnson, so quick off the dribble, slices to the rim and puts it in. So Winkle tries to drive in as he kicks out to Oki. Oki backs his way in up off the glass and good again. Joey Oki has been the offensive spark tonight for Centennial. He's got six. Johnson, who was so good at getting to the rim last time. Quick drives through everybody. Kicks it out, Anderson for three. Long rebound comes out to Vasky. Winkle, that turnaround, I think it was blocked a little bit, but right there to get the rebound and put it in is Smith. <laughs> Nolan Dalton has also checked in the game for the Hawks. Johnson, he can score so quick and so smooth, couldn't get that to fall. Oki with a rebound. Hawks trying to protect their eight point lead. Luke Winkle has other plans as he drives in on Johnson. Johnson tips it away momentarily into the backcourt. Referee right there to say it was tipped. Again, very physical game. It's been called that way from the start. Winkle lets loose a three. Long rebound though out there to Oki. Restarts the shot clock. Almost just a frustration heave there for Luke Winkle. Baskey. Back to Winkle, everything's running through Winkle on the offense. Vasky left open for three, and he can't hit it. Jags are stone cold from three-point land. Now Aguirre waves everybody, clears off the edge. Johnson fights his way through Aguirre, the nice soft touch off the glass, couldn't get it to fall. Another rebound for Oki. Now Smith drives in through contact, puts it up off the glass and in. Will Smith with four. Jags trying to get a stop. Their fans are cheering them on now. Johnson out to Rio, to Leo. Anderson again for three, he hits it. The Hawks are just in fuego. Winkle, little pop out there to Vasky. Vasky in on Aguirre, tipped away. As Vasky rolls, slices his way through again, gets it to fall, but again the foul was on the floor. Boy, if they were playing in the NBA, there'd be a lot of those three-point plays tonight. Boy, I'll, I apologize if you got left up in Ankeny tonight. I'm not sure anybody did. This crowd is... Incredible. Isaac Runchy checks into the game. Bullies his way in on Aguirre. Can't get it to fall, and Aguirre gets the rebound. Johnson, look out. He's got that look. The fadeaway, 17-footer. Can't get it to fall. Smith gets the board. 
Down to a minute 10 left to go in a very fast first half. Don't forget to stick around for our halftime show brought to you by the Josh Coward offices of New York Life. Runchy into the lane off the assist from Winkle. Make sure to stop in and see the Josh Coward offices of New York Life down there in the district at Prairie Trail. Hawks with Aguirre who's been feeling it in this first half. He goes all the way in, a couple big steps. Couldn't get it to fall and Smith once again, the junior up to get the rebound. Got a seven second differential in the shot clock and game clock. Shuddy. Smith now down in the corner. He'll shoot from there. Baseline move all the way back out to Shuddy. 10 seconds on the shot clock for Vasky. Now Winkle. Whoa, Winkle. Still can't get it to fall, but Runchy gets the board. 10 seconds on the game clock. Vasky for three. He can't get it to fall. And a foul is going to be whistled on Smith. Inadvertent clothesline of Rio Aguirre, and that will just be the second of this quarter on Centennial. So 6.2 seconds left for Ankeny to try to add to their seven point lead. Johnson. What a move by Carson Johnson at the horn. Extends the lead back up to a nine point lead. For the Ankeny Hawks, we go to the halftime break. 28 to 19 our score. We're back with a halftime show brought to you by the Josh Coward offices of New York Life. Freedom Tire is proud to be the title sponsor of supporting Jaguar student athletes through Centennial Digital. With six locations around the metro, you're never far from getting you back or keeping your family safely on the road. Our certified staff and state-of-the-art technology means you can take comfort knowing you've got the best work at the best prices. Come see us at Freedom Tire, a proud supporter of Centennial Digital. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Here we go. Oh wow, U.S. Cellular works great out here. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days. Hi everybody, Danielle Seifert here, letting you know that I have the keys to your brand new home. I have been handing over keys to Dream Homes in the Des Moines Metro for 20 years. And with my team in Ankeny, we deliver an experience that's simple and stress-free. Sound advice, savvy negotiating, exceptional customer service, and the keys to living your best life are just the start of what you get when you are working with me and my team. Check out available properties at daniellecypher.com. Let's talk soon. What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Our goal is to make a difference. We have the tools, resources, training, and leadership to make a difference in our agents' lives and their careers. And then they can then take that to make a difference in their clients' lives and ultimately make a difference in our community. We are available basically 24-7 to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients. Sportsmanship starts with you. Good sportsmanship means showing respect to student athletes, coaches, officials, and those around you. 
Good sportsmanship is about character, accountability, and setting a positive example in and out of competition. Before the game starts, remember, sportsmanship starts with you. So when an athlete walks into Nick Garage Fitness, the one thing we want them to know is that this is a phenomenal community. We have the best coaching. We have the best technology. We have the, the programming that can help them succeed. So whether it's trying to get on JV for the first time, going to that next level on varsity, going from a, a second string to you know an all-state player, we have the tools, we have the, the programming and the coaching in order to take each individual to their next level. Welcome back to our halftime show here on a joint production tonight of Centennial Digital, driven by Freedom Tire and the Yankee Activities Network, built by the Danielle Seifert Real Estate Team. We are here in Altoona, Iowa, out on the corner, uh, just out of town on the southeast side of town here at Southeast Folk High School. Neutral site tonight, where it is the Yankee Hawks and the Yankee Centennial Jaguars. This is our halftime show brought to you by the Josh Coward Offices of New York Life. And as we look at the scoring at the break, Leo Aguirre leads all scorers for Ankeny. He's got 21, five point, or excuse me, eight points for Cash School and six for Carson Johnson, two for Rio Aguirre. Let's look at scoring for the Jaguars. Winkle with two. Six for Oki, two for Shuddy, and three for Connor Wells, who spent the better part of that first half on the bench with a couple fouls. He's the only one in any real foul trouble. He's got two, no one else has more than one. The Hawks got out to the lead right away. Centennial got back to get it within two at the break. And then shortly before the end of the second quarter, Ankeny comes back and hits a couple more three-pointers. A nice kiss off the glass for Johnson at the end of the half. Gives Ankeny the 28-19 lead as we get ready to start the second half. I want to be sure and thank Jason Campbell tonight, the Southeast Polk Athletic Director, who has been such a gracious host. They got everything set up for us, a great setup here, high above the gym at Southeast Polk, good solid ground, have everything here on their track up above. If you haven't been here before, it's a beautiful building, uh, much like uh, the new ones at Waukee Northwest, as well as Johnston, a, a walking track, top loading, walking track up above where you can walk down into the gym. You got no one walking in front of the players, so another great thing to have as well as the Hawks come back out on the floor. That'll do it for our halftime show brought to you by the Josh Coward offices of New York Life. We'll be back with the second half right after this in this joint production of Centennial Digital and the Ankeny Activities Network. Freedom Tire is proud to be the title sponsor of supporting Jaguar student athletes through Centennial Digital. With six locations around the metro, you're never far from getting you back or keeping your family safely on the road. Our certified staff and state-of-the-art technology means you can take comfort knowing you've got the best work at the best prices. Come see us at Freedom Tire, a proud supporter of Centennial Digital. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Test drive U.S. Cellular free for 30 days.
Hi everybody, Danielle Seifert here, letting you know that I have the keys to your brand new home. I have been handing over keys to Dream Homes in the Des Moines Metro for 20 years. And with my team in Ankeny, we deliver an experience that's simple and stress-free. Sound advice, savvy negotiating, exceptional customer service, and the keys to living your best life are just the start of what you get when you are working with me and my team. Check out available properties at daniellecipher.com. Let's talk soon. What if you could create memories that would last a lifetime? That would be pretty cool. Well, now you can. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Our goal is to make a difference. We have the tools, resources, training, and leadership to make a difference in our agents' lives and their careers. And then they can then take that to make a difference in their clients' lives and ultimately make a difference in our community. We are available basically 24-7 to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients. Just a couple seconds from our second half getting started here tonight. At Southeast Polk, it was all Hawks in that first half, and they extended their lead out to nine at the end of the second quarter as we get ready to start the third. I would imagine we'll see both sets of starters out there on the floor. And we do for Centennial. It's Vasky, Winkle, Oki, Shuddy, and Welsh. For Ankeny, it's the Aguirre brothers, along with Cash Schoolin and Carson Johnson and Cade Peterson. Eight minutes to go on the clock here to determine in the second half who goes on to play at next week's Boys State Basketball Tournament. The Hawks will get the ball here to start the third quarter. Ankeny with the basketball here. Johnson for three, can't quite get it to fall. The rebound kept alive, and Winkle tracks it down for the Haw for the Jaguars. Excuse me. Surprised that's the first time that's happened tonight. Shuddy for three. Back down to a six-point game. Coach Carlson wants the motion offense. Aguirre. Schoolin all the way in. He goes up off the glass too high. Nearly snuck in and stole that pass back. Winkle sets things up. Off to Welsh. Welsh has not had too many opportunities tonight. Hit one of his two three-point shots that he took. As Winkle can't get that one to fall. Johnson clears it for the Hawks. School and decides not to shoot the three. Hit a couple of those early on. Rio. Matched up with Welsh. They give it off to Johnson. Johnson, that little stutter. He was open. I'm not sure he realized. Instead of Gire for the three, he doesn't hit it. Oki with the board. Man, Joey Oki seems to have got every rebound tonight. Winkle with the basketball. Winkle in on Johnson up with the left hand. He can't get it to fall. Man, Cade Peterson playing above the rim. Gets the rebound. Aguirre left open in the corner for three. Back up to a nine-point lead for the Hawks. Hawks student section is loud right now. Welsh, long pass over there to Oki on the other side. Off the ball to Winkle down low, the little fadeaway up off the glass. And wow, Luke Winkle's arms make his about 6'1 frame look like he's about 6'6. 
He put that one up off the glass and in. 5.38 to go in the third quarter. Hawks by seven. Johnson drawing a lot of attention with the basketball. When you put 38 on a team the last time you play, you tend to do that. Schoolin decides he's going to go in on Oki. Nice move by Schoolin, but he can't get it to fall. And Winkle quickly gets it ahead to Oki. Oki all the way into the lane, up off the glass and good. Back to a five point lead. Aguirre muscles his way in and stolen. Shuddy baited him into the pass to Peterson. Welsh now. Wants an opportunity to score to catch up. Instead, Shuddy lets loose with one, and he can't hit it, and Peterson again clears another rebound. Ankeny holding on to a five-point lead. They want a timeout. Coach Carlson wants a full timeout. We'll take a full timeout as well and be back right after this, a joint production of the Ankeny Activities Network and Centennial Digital. Freedom Tire is proud to be the title sponsor of supporting Jaguar student athletes through Centennial Digital. With six locations around the metro, you're never far from getting you back or keeping your family safely on the road. Our certified staff and state-of-the-art technology means you can take comfort knowing you've got the best work at the best prices. Come see us at Freedom Tire, a proud supporter of Centennial Digital. We are back here at Altoona at Southeast Polk High School. The student sections have been rocking here tonight. Looks like we've got a beach theme over on the Ankeny student section and a pink out over on the Centennial side. Good look at the Centennial side right now. Don't adjust your screen. That is actually a full student section of pink. I'm in my pink shoes tonight. But that's because I've been working at the girls state basketball tournament all week long. So had those on already, came straight from there today. Got to call some great basketball games. Of course, Ankeny Centennial girls lost their game yesterday. A heartbreaker to Waukee for Coach DeYoung and his team leaves him stuck at 699 victories for his career. Back here though on the boys side as we approach the four and a half minute mark of the third quarter. Johnson steps through, man what a scoop, but he couldn't get it to fall. Rebound way high up, Aguirre gets it tipped away from him. Jaguars on the run out, Oki all the way down, up off the glass and good. Down to a three point game. Aguirre bullies his way in, the ball stripped away, it goes out of bounds and they're gonna say it stays with Ankeny. Saw Shuddy trying to Almost limbo his way out of the way of the basketball. It's, it never did hit him. It was on the strip that the ball went out of bounds. So, man, this game gets closer and closer. Now we've got, I'm not sure what the discussion is. The shot clock, that shouldn't reset right now. It sits at 26. So there's no reset to have. Coach Bob Fontana wants an explanation here. And I'm not sure what that was all about. Too far away to listen on the conversations. Been sitting courtside at Wells Fargo Arena this week where I can hear everything, but not the case here. Oh, nice inbounds play to Aguirre who lays it in. Back to a five point lead for the Hawks. Baskey with the basketball, swings it around to Oki. Ooh, that's where they want to get the ball to Winkle. Winkle isolated on Johnson, drives in, stripped away by Carson Johnson. Now Johnson heading back the other way, Vasky quick to pick him up. Johnson with just six points tonight. I say that he averages over 23 on the season and I wouldn't be surprised if somehow before the end of the game he finds his way very close to that. We have seen Carson Johnson score points in bunches. Tried to step through there, Rio Aguirre drives in and he charges. Nick Baskey was set and as Aguirre started his way towards the basket. Offensive foul whistled on Leo, Rio, excuse me. Two brothers, the main difference is that Leo looks like a football player, which he is. 
Rio a little more slender. Leo will go on to play two sports, football and basketball at Clark University up in Dubuque next year. One of a bunch of future college athletes on the floor. Speaking of college athletes, Connor Welsh, who will go play his football at Iowa State in the defensive backfield, gets the layup. Now Johnson, and he has been pesky, pestered by Vasky all night long. Anderson up top, Aguirre for three. Good again! Leo Aguirre with 14. Just on fire from three-point land. Welsh all the way in. He was open and he threw a little shoulder in on Rio Aguirre and gets called for the charge. It's the extra little turn and Connor Welsh picks up his third. With 2.32 to go in the third quarter, he'll have a seat on the bench. Another Heart of Ankeny Animal Hospital substitution. Will Smith and Cabrin Klinger check into the game for the Jaguars. In for Ankeny, Luke Anderson and Cash Schoolin back in the game as well. Aguirre works in on Shuddy. Schoolin drives into the lane. He goes up with a shot and can't get it to fall. Schoolin scored eight points in about the first 90 seconds of the game, hasn't scored since. Winkle, look for Winkle and Johnson just to go off at some point in this game as they kick it out. Klinger for three! <laughs> Under two to go in the third quarter. Johnson all the way in, kicks it out, almost throws it away, but Aguirre tracks it down. Anderson to Aguirre. Back to the next Aguirre in line. Rio looking to take on Shuddy. Let's loose a long three pointer and he hits it. Incredible night of shooting from beyond the arc by the Aguirre brothers. And it's back to a six point lead for the Hawks. Baskey thought about the three. Klinger spots it up again and hits another. The junior off the bench has seven. Down to a minute to go in the third period. Here's Johnson all the way in. No call made. Now they get out to Aguirre for another three. And I believe there was just a technical foul whistled on the Centennial bench. There was. Right after Aguirre hit the three to make it six. I don't even think it was something that Coach Bob Fontana said. I think it was a player. So Carson Johnson will head to the free throw line where he'll have a couple free throws to extend this lead and Ankeny will get the basketball. Johnson hits them both and extends the lead to eight. Huge miscue. I'm not sure what was said or who said it on the Centennial bench. Coach Bob Fontana was completely at the other end. And an opportunity to really extend what was just a three-point lead is already up to eight, and Ankeny's got the basketball. Oh, boy. Johnson all the way in and lays it in. Oh, can't quite get it to fall. And Shuddy gets the rebound. Five-point possession for the Hawks. 10 second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Winkle, spin move, and he travels with the basketball. Carson Johnson had him scouted out and beat him to the spot. So now the Hawks will have one more opportunity here to extend their lead in the third quarter. Just when the momentum seemed to be on the Jaguar side, Leo Aguirre steps up and it's another three pointer. He's got 17 on the night as Coach Carlson wants the Hawks to spread things out. 20 seconds on the game clock. Aguirre takes it all the way back. He's looking to drive. Hawks are spread out all over the place. Seven seconds, Aguirre all the way in, kicks it off to Schoolin. Schoolin backs his way in up with a shot and tip at the horn is good by Aguirre. 
He's got 19 and gives the Hawks a double-digit lead heading into the fourth quarter. We'll be back with the final eight minutes right after this in this joint production of Centennial Digital and the Ankeny Activities Network. Everything we do is here to benefit the client. Every decision that's needed to be made, the first question you should ask is, does this, does this benefit the client and is this the best thing for the client? Our goal is to make a difference. We have the tools, resources, training, and leadership to make a difference in our agents' lives and their careers. And then they can then take that to make a difference in their clients' lives and ultimately make a difference in our communities. We are available basically 24-7 to make sure that our agents are getting the support they need um, to look like a million bucks in front of their clients. Oh boy, what a ball game we've got in Altoona. As the northern side of Polk County has ventured into the southeast side of Polk County, Ankeny, I think the whole town's here tonight. What an atmosphere we've had in this gym. Great showcase for the city of Ankeny. As right now, the Hawks lead the Jags 46-36 in this rubber match that, oh yeah, also will happen to send the winner on to the state tournament next week and end the season for the other. A lot of seniors on both of these teams. Don't forget after the game to stick around. Whoever wins, we will go live on their Facebook page with a post-game show that'll include a lot of interviews, analysis, a lot of extra video as well. Look us up on Facebook on the Ankeny Activities Network or the Centennial Digital channel as Winkle for three. Winkle up to seven. Winkle and Johnson have been schemed up tonight, but I would look for them to have big fourth quarters. Johnson with the basketball right now. Speaking of big quarters, Leo Aguirre, 19 points on the night for the Hawks. Johnson swings it around to Anderson, back up to Aguirre. Aguirre drives his way in, and he is going to get whistled for a charge as Connor Welsh slides in and cuts him off. Dip the shoulder just a little bit, it was enough. 7.21 to go in the ball game. Hawks holding on to a seven point lead. They've never trailed in this basketball game. Winkle again with the basketball. Left open for three once again. Ball tipped out of there, controlled by Leo Aguirre. Johnson again with the basketball. Under seven to go. Off the screen, Aguirre back out to Johnson. Johnson will shoot it from there. Drives in, kicks it out, stolen away. Big night from Will Smith. Both stealing the basketball and shooting. The junior, one of the few juniors that plays for Centennial. All the way in is well, she can't get it to fall. Right there for the rebound, too strong is Shuddy. And Aguirre comes out of there with it, and Connor Wells. 80 feet from the basket, just picked up his fourth foul. So Oki comes back in for the Jags. Another Heart of Ankeny Animal Hospital substitution. As Johnson looks things over, looks over to his coach Carlson for some Advice, each team has a lot of timeouts left as Aguirre scoops it up and can't quite get it to fall. Three timeouts left for Centennial, four for Ankeny. Ooh, they missed Smith down low. Winkle. Anderson defending him, Winkle. Good defense there by Anderson. Now Oki backs his way in, he travels with the basketball. No, he did not, actually there's a foul whistled on. They said Aguirre got him in the head. Rio Aguirre with his third. He's the only one with more than two for the Hawks. Under six to play in this fourth quarter. Little lob into Shuddy. High above the action here at Southeast Polk High School. Andy Pollock with you here tonight. Cash Von Bali, Luke Silve with me as well. 
Vasky drives into the lane. Little fadeaway is way short for him, and Anderson tips it to Aguirre. Grant Carlson wants things to slow down a little bit for the Hawks. Only take the shots you make at this point, I think, is what the coach tells the players. Gives it off to Schoolin. Johnson down in the corner, Aguirre. Anderson for three. Look out! And we've got an offensive foul away from the basketball whistled on Shuddy. As he and Aguirre were going after it, he threw a shoulder into Shuddy. And that'll be a turnover, another turnover on the night for the Jags. And an opportunity for Ankeny to extend their 10 point lead. They're gonna let Aguirre run the offense. Leo. Backing in on Winkle, and Winkle going to get whistled for the foul. That'll be the second on Luke Winkle. Jaguars have had a lot of mistakes away from the basketball tonight, or away, a long ways away from the basket, I should say. That technical foul, and there Anthony throws the ball away. Little miscommunication between Aguirre and Anderson. And how about the three-point shooting tonight from the Hawks? 4.45 to go in the ball game. Hawks by 10. Ankeny is, Centennial has made little runs here and there, but every time the Hawks have responded with a big three-point bucket. Winkle. Just let loose a three. And in and out, no good. As Cash Schoolin gets the board. Once again, the Hawks gonna spread things out. Who better to have the ball in the hands of than Carson Johnson as he drives in. He was open there for a second as both defenders came off of him. Ball tipped a little bit there by Vasky. Johnson, again, down to 10 seconds on the shot clock for Carson. No one better than State to have the ball in the hands of at this point. That one's way short. And there's a foul called on Vasky. That'll be three shots for Johnson. So one of the best free throw shooters in the state now steps up to shoot three. And really extend this lead for the Hawks. <laughs> and he gets the first. Heard a collective gasp from the crowd, especially from the Ankeny crowd who has not seen Carson Johnson miss a whole lot of free throws this year, or ever in his career for that matter. <laughs> Uses all the rim for the second as well. Man, as we look around, what a crowd we have down here tonight. We didn't know if many people would come at all with this game being out of town, and boy, this is quite the atmosphere as Johnson hits all three. Timeout for Ankeny. Full timeout. Starts with you. So when an athlete walks into Nick Garage Fitness, the one thing we want them to know is that this is a phenomenal community. We have the best coaching. We have the best technology. We have the, the programming that can help them succeed. So whether it's trying to get on JV for the first time, going to that next level on varsity, going from a, a second string to you know an all-state player. We have the tools, we have the, the programming and the coaching in order to take each individual to their next level. Centennial the inbound after the three free throws by Carson Johnson. Get the ball down low to Smith. Smith with a step through, a little strong off the glass, and Aguirre once again there for the board. Leo Aguirre has been a man possessed tonight. 
Leo kicks it over to Rio, the other way around. I can't even keep my own kids straight. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to keep those two brothers straight. I only see them twice a week. Johnson hands off to Anderson, back up top to Aguirre. Leo up off the glass, the sweet kiss from Leo Aguirre. He's got 21. Getting close to panic time for Centennial. Oki has the ball stripped away momentarily by Aguirre. Then Oki goes up and lays it in. Oki leads Centennial scores. He's got 12. Back down to 13, under three to play. Aguirre once again. He drives in. Nice pass underneath to Schoolin who couldn't quite get it to fall. Shuddy pushes it ahead. Down to the corner, there's Vasky for three. No good. Schoolin up quick. That's about as good a look as Centennial's going to get. And they got to hit those right now if they want to get back in this basketball game. Ball goes out of bounds, though. We'll stick with Centennial. Clear comes in for the Jags. Try to get some Cabron shooting in the game. Another Heart of Ankeny Animal Hospital substitution. That is Klinger with the basketball now. Kicks off to Winkle. Johnson has kept him in check tonight. Little extra pass down to the corner to Oki for three in and out. A lot of those tonight for the Jaguars. Game of half inches. Johnson all the way in up off the glass. Can't get it to fall, but he'll shoot a couple free throws. Would have never have guessed Carson Johnson being held to 11 points with two minutes left in this game and the Hawks still leading by 13. But Leo Aguirre has stepped up big time tonight for the Hawks. Johnson now with a dozen. Vasky checks in one more time, another Hearts of Ankeny Animal Hospital substitution. And now under two minutes to go, Hawks by 15. Reminder, we will go live on the Facebook page of the winner after this game with a post-game show as Winkle drives all the way in, and he might have just got his nose broke. Gets whistled for a, gets whistled for the travel. He's got blood dripping all the way out of his nose. Nothing was called, but the officials, Winkle is, Got blood dripping all over the floor. Nothing was called. They say Winkle spun into him, and now this could get ugly now. A lot of contact there, but they said Winkle traveled first. You're going to have to get some trainers out there to wipe the blood off the floor, but boy, without Luke Winkle on the floor in this last minute, 49, what was already a nearly impossible task gets even more impossible for the Jaguars. Coach Bob Fontana getting the explanation right now. Don't think he's going to like it. Still trying to get Winkle's nosebleed stopped. When you get a janitor over to clean up the blood that's on the floor right now. Still trying to get some cleanup out there on the floor. As Winkle's nose was gushing there after the contact, but a lot of contact there, and they're still trying to get a trainer out to clear the floor off. I think they were waiting for a janitor first. Going to get that uh, biohazard protocol out there. Looks like they're trying to clean Winkle off as well to get him back in the game. Centennial fans not going to be happy about that one for a while. Boy, we've had a huge, enthusiastic crowd here tonight. What a showcase for our great city and our great schools and a couple really, really good boys basketball teams. It's like they're trying to, it's almost like a wrestling match right now with all the blood that we've got to clean up off a of bloody nose. As they continue to work on that, 
still out there. Don't necessarily come to a basketball game prepared to clear up all that blood. As I don't even know who it was that Winkle ran into. As they continue to try to get things cleared up. And last minute get you want to reset. So, your backup on the first camera is if you want to reset. Hi everybody, Danielle Seifert here, letting you know that I have the keys to your brand new home. I have been handing over keys to Dream Homes in the Des Moines Metro for 20 years. And with my team in Ankeny, we deliver an experience that's simple and stress-free. Sound advice, savvy negotiating, exceptional customer service, and the keys to living your best life are just the start of what you get when you are working with me and my team. Check out available properties at DanielleSeifert.com. Let's talk soon.